So you'll remember that yesterday's podcast episode was part one of this. This idea of your life being a movie. And if you've not heard that podcast yet, go back and listen to part one. Where I'm talking about the idea that your life is a movie and it has a start scene that you're in at the moment. The thing that life looks like every day. And then your happy ending scene If your life was a movie, if this strand of your life was a movie, you'd get a happy ending scene, which would look like this, which would look like exactly as it does now. But with the problems solved, so it will be like a significantly upgraded version of what's happening now. So if you want to be in a relationship and you're not in one and you notice that you're kicking around the house, then the happy ending scene will be exactly the same. Except you'll have your partner with you. You'll be in your house, but the final scene, like a bookend, will be the same, but with the core problem solved. That's how movies work. And so if you want to dig into that idea a bit more, listen to the previous podcast. But I want to take you to part two of this idea. Because once you realise that if you were to write a movie about this particular strand of your life that what you're experiencing now would be the opening and the upgraded version of that would be the very final scene of the movie where we get to see what it looks like, ordinary life looks like once you've actually overcome these challenges, once you've made the changes that you want to. Once we know what those bookends are, once you know where you're headed towards, then I can introduce you to a a slightly different idea within story structure, which is often referred to as the question of the play. Now, in standard story structure, which applies to plays and also applies to movies, what will basically happen is we'll start off, we'll be introduced to the main character, we'll find out the environment the main character lives in, who they live amongst and what they do every day. And then there'll be a point in the movie where the main character actually ventures out. We'll do something different. We'll try to enter another world, basically. And by another world, I don't mean that they go into space, but, you know, they will will step through that door into another possibility. And then what we'll normally see is that they will be in that world. They'll meet new people and they'll face some struggles. And then around midway through the movie they'll face a really significant consequence from having been brave enough to venture out into this new world, to try something different, to pursue that happy ending scene. And so normally, at round about the midway point, so in a standard movie, around about three quarters of an hour in, we'll see this consequence, often quite a challenging consequence, that happens in the story that really challenges the main character, challenges the hero. And at this midway midway point of the story, that is where the question of the play comes into being. The question of the play basically asks, so is the hero going to get to their final scene? Yes or no? And the question of the play is always posed in that kind of yes or no way. And so as you're watching the movie and you know what the hero is aiming for, you know what problems that they need to solve, you know the way that they need to grow for their life to become what they want it to be, to get to the happy ending scene. The question then is, So will they do it? And so what's going to happen in the movie at that point is there are certain forces that are going to be pushing the hero towards no. And there are going to be other forces, including the hero themselves, that is going to push them towards yes. And so now you know from yesterday's podcast episode what your happy ending of this particular movie of your life is 
you can now get focused on the question of the play. Are you going to get there? And so you can notice, even in your own decisions, whether the decision that you're about to make, the action that you're about to take, is it on the yes side of that question? Or is it on the no? So let's suppose that in the movie of your life, that you feel quite isolated and you want more friends and you want more connections in your life. And let's say that the happy ending scene that you envisage is that you have this network of deep connected friendships and you know that that's what you want. You want the starting scene where you might be sat alone in a coffee shop, for instance, feeling a bit glum. You know that you want to see that coffee shop scene again, except you're not sat on your own. You're sat on a table with, say, five or six friends all having a good time. So that's how it works. You've got your bookends in, in, in line there. You've got your first scene and your happy ending scene. Now, everything is about the question of the play. Do you get to that happy ending scene? And so if you get an invite to go to a gathering with some people that you know and like, you're going to be at a crossroads. You can either accept the invite, which will push you towards yes, or you can reject the invite that will push you towards no. If you accept the invite and you've been pushed towards yes, the night of the gathering comes and you feel nervous and you feel anxious and you start doubting whether it's going to be a good experience. You, you doubt whether the people there are even going to welcome you being there and you start telling yourself scary stories. And in the face of those scary stories, you have a choice. Do you back out? Do you send them a text and say, sorry, everyone, I'm not up to it tonight. Have a good time. Or do you overcome those fears? Do you go out anyway, even though you're telling yourself scary stories? Now, of course, if you send the text... You've just taken an action that moves the answer to the question of the play towards no, that you don't get that happy ending scene. And yet if you power on through those uncomfortable feelings and go anyway, then that particular action moves the question of the play towards yes. And so the reason why I want you to be aware of the power of the question of the play is because as the hero of this movie, Guess who has the most influence over which direction you move in? You have a huge influence in terms of the decisions you make, in terms of the actions you take, about whether the things you do push the answer to the question of the play towards yes or push it towards no. And of course, it's not always easy. It wouldn't be a very interesting story, would it? If it was, there's going to be challenges on the way to your happy ending. But once you realise what that happy ending scene looks like, and once you focus on the question of the play, it gives you a criteria by which to judge every action, every decision, every thought that you make. Because the question really is, is this useful or is it not? Or to put it in another way, does this answer the question of the play about whether I get my happy ending scene or not towards yes? Or does it push it towards no? And once you know that criteria to apply, you can ensure that you keep on making decisions, you keep on taking actions, you keep on attaching to thoughts which push you towards the yes, and towards getting the happy ending scene that you've already envisaged. Now, if you found this episode useful, please do share it so other people can find it useful too. If you prefer to watch these things on YouTube, you can get to my YouTube channel by simply going to a sliceoftherapy.com. And if you want to work with me directly, I'm Alan Parry. I run the Liverpool Psychotherapy Practice on Rodney Street and you can find me at liverpoolpsychotherapy.co.uk. So until tomorrow, thanks for listening and I'll see you then.